next speaker now. Our next speaker is actually our last speaker for this morning uh, slash afternoon session, uh, and then we'll begin again at 4. Our next speaker is Millie Taylor. Millie Taylor is currently the director at the St. Petersburg Free Clinic, Beacon House. Millie, however, had a non-traditional rise through her current status. Long before she was ever the director of the St. Pete Free, uh, Free Clinic, um, Millie was homeless for several years. In, the, in beginning a new period of life, she attended St. Petersburg College and earned her associate's degree in human services, alcohol, and substance abuse. She's moved beyond this and done so much more since then. Please join me in welcoming her to the front. Thank you. Once again, my name is But 
all of this began for me at SBC. That's where it all began. Um, me walking in there after 26 years in a classroom, being afraid. My first class was math. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so afraid of math to this day, but I can count my money. <laughs> Trust me. It is so But X, X plus Y minus C, forget about it. I don't know, but I still remember. Um, please. Excuse my dear aunt Susie or Sally. Yeah. I still remember that. It was in parentheses as far as you do me. So I remember that. But I was I had a lot of fears. I'm newly sober, but I stayed in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous. I went to school. I started my own business. I took care of my family and I worked a full-time job. And that was crazy. Um, the thing about the human service program that I did not like. Some of the classes only offered once a year. So I took four classes in one semester. And I don't know how, but I succeeded. I made, I made an A in each class. So. Because I'm OCD and I can't make anything less than an A. <laughs> I have, but I don't like it. I, I had a debate with the teacher. The highest score you could get was 101. I got 100, and I said, if you read my essay over again, I'm sure you'll pick up. <laughs> Millie, take a chill. But anyway, um, I knew I wanted to help people like me, and that's why I do what I do. That's why I went to SBC, the Human Services for Alcohol and Substance Abuse. And the most important thing I got out of it was me. I found me in those rooms, in those classes, with those teachers. Uh, those before class conferences, those after class uh, talks. Um, they helped me be the woman that I am today. And I'm grateful because when you're a degree woman, well, in human services, you can't write your own check, but um, when you're a degree person, you have more opportunities. So and it all began for me at SBC. Um, the, the young lady who was speaking when um, I came in, when we came in, I, she said, um, it was so true what she said, that God has for you, no one can take from you. Uh, after I left, left SBC, I continued on and got a, business, a master's in business administration. And I did that because I wanted to start my own business. However, um, it, was, it was rumored that maybe because of my criminal background, I might not be able to work in this field. Voila! I wanted to work in this field, and I believe that God had that plan for me, even when I didn't know that's what I wanted. So I just, I just landed on my feet where I am, and I'm so grateful that SBC is still around, and the students, if you're in the human service um, program, this is what I'd like to offer to you. Be open. Um, don't be closed mouth. Um, ask questions, give your insight because it's important and it will change things in that program if you allow yourself to, to give input. Your input is important and the program is changing so much and it's allowing so much more than it did when I was there. So be open, now, ask questions, give your input and no matter what you do, don't throw your hands up because it is about your dream, it's about your outcome. Um, just for today, I'm going to keep doing what I do, do because I enjoy what I do. And if you're in this program because you want to make a lot of money, <laughs> don't do it. Change your major because this is a job of compassion. You have to be compassionate about what you are doing to be able to help that homeless person that comes in who might be smelly, who might not have had a bath in weeks, who is sitting in, a, in, in front of you hungry. One of the things that even in assessments, what we do is we say, have you had a meal today? If we have something, we will feed them before we assess them because we want real answers from them. They, we don't want them just telling us something because they need a place to live. But if they have a meal in their stomachs, they feel better about themselves already. And they come, 
and they trust you. Mm -hmm. And if they need a change of clothing, we have a clothes closet upstairs. We'll get them fresh clothes. Um, we don't have a shower facility at this time where they can take a shower, but fresh clothes is better than sometimes what they walk in the door wearing. Um, we also have a community kitchen where we uh, serve a meal six nights a week uh, so that people who have worked all day in the element can come in and get a meal for free. It's no charge to them. Um, when I was a case manager, um, my other case manager, his name is Joseph Cerno, he came and he uh, interned with me. When I became director, I hired him. The best hire is an intern, trust me. From SBC. From SBC. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, so, he was. He was an SBC student. Right, he was an SBC <laughs> student. He came in, he interned with me as a case manager. When I became director, I hired him. Then, he told about this guy named Walt. I think he's a great guy. I think he should allow him to intern. So we allowed Walt to come in and intern. Before he was done with his internship, we hired him as a part-timer. When he completed his internship, we brought him on full-time. We have had at least five interns from SBC. What? I was just whispering any more. Right. That's why I'm, I'm giving this little spiel <laughs> about interns. And we welcome future interns. If you would love to intern at um, the Beacon House, be more, I'll be more than happy to have you. We'll be more than happy to have you. But we're going to bring you up right now. We're going to bring you up right. When you leave us, you'll be ready to become employed as a case manager at another facility. If we don't need help. Um, Walter well, may act up tomorrow now. <laughs> you might want to get in there. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm happy with the staff that I have. My house manager, he is uh, a student at SPC in the IT program. And it's an SPC family. Why not? Okay. Um, if you have a question, make it quick, because I know we need to wrap up. Did I answer any questions? Thank you very much for having us, and uh, good luck with your studies.